Hey guys and welcome back to World War II Solitaire board game channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at World Builder for Company of Heroes board game. And I'll give you a heads up right away that since I haven't actually played the game yet, I don't know how or if you actually can utilize this expansion with the solo experience. Um, and even if you can't, I have high hopes that they will actually fix that for the 1.5 Kickstarter or uh, with the updated AI companion. One thing that I find very great is that with this game I think many developers got their eyes open for how many players actually want solo as um, many people, people got the solo expansion and then because of Corona a lot of people started using that expansion, even though maybe they perhaps thought that they wouldn't play solo. Anyway, enough of me babbling, we're gonna go uh, right to the World Builder Company Heroes board game unboxing. And I gotta say first of all that this image here, uh, the art that we get on this box, is just the best art I've ever seen on a board game. It's so beautiful. From the guys here drinking their coffee, uh, looking at the maps, to this guy repairing that broken tank. Just beautiful. Let's look at the back of the box. The power of infinite creation. So if this is something that you wish to read, I'll give you a moment right here. This is going to be one of those expansions that I know that many people did not get. This rain pack 2, this, and then two of the mini expansions for some reason many people missed out on. Okay. So we have a bunch of stuff and then we have two maps no rules on how to actually use these okay let's start by looking at our counters let's see if we there we go so again i don't know how or if we're going to use this how they work, but we'll find out. Okay, so very big, big counters. Then we're gonna be using these to to build different maps, I'm guessing. Hence the name World Builder. And these counters are two sided. Some broken vehicles, houses, stuff like that. So basically, use different terrain. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all of it so we don't miss, miss anything. So those are the counters we get. Then we also get these two maps and they're called Summer 1 and Summer 2 at least on um, on one side. And let's see if they're, they look to be as big as as the maps of the main game. And yes, they are huge maps. This is gonna be a hard game to record with with these big maps. I am very happy I have the overhead camera. So then on one side we have this map called Summer, and it's just as beautiful as the maps in other games. Such beautiful details and the graphic, it's just amazing. I think it is the best map I've actually seen um, in a board game. I like this realistic feeling. And then on the other map we have, it's called Winters. Okay, we have Winter on one side and then we have Summer on the other side. And yeah, the same goes for this one, just beautiful. Then let's look at the last map. If we can get it open. Not always easy. Almost. There we go. So 
So yeah, on this side we're also, or on this map, it's gonna be summer two and winter two. So I'm guessing they are gonna be connectable, just like we saw those really huge maps in the, in the base game. So on one side we have summer two, again, very nice. I guess this is kind of um, some kind of fence. I thought it was a rip in the map first, but it's a, it's a fence. And then let's see if we can get the winter side. And the winter side, beautiful. Okay, my friends, that is World Builder expansion. I am very much looking forward to finding out how to use this and to see if this can be incorporated with my solo experience of this game. So, guys, if you like solo games, if you like board games, if you like World War II games, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Lots of more comment is coming. Thank you very much for watching my videos. See you next time.